Belgian women are being urged to go on a national sex strike in the hope it'll tie the country's leaders down to forming a government. A senator, who's also a gynaecologist, is even urging the partners of politicians to down tools in the bedroom, hoping Parliament members will rise to the task after nearly eight months of stalemate. The call is, let's, look, let's go for a sex strike till we have a government. And of course I know that this is a ludic action. It's in the gallery of ludic actions. It's not meant to be serious. And of course people love... It's not new. The cross-legged protest dates back to Greek literature. And more recently, women in Colombia and Kenya have done the same thing. It's a bit, yeah, it's funny, but I, I don't, don't think, think it's the effective. It's going to do it. Yeah. No. You don't think it's going to work? No. 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 I won't do it. It's always work. <laughs> yeah, I think it's always work. And uh, maybe that's what we need right now. In a country split along linguistic and cultural lines, it's perhaps apt that Dutch caps and French letters are being used as weapons. Belgium is heading for a dubious world record, the longest time without a government.